When creating any new web project, you'll need to create a series of folders to store your work inside. The first of which I'm going to create, and I'll call this the root folder. You might name this after your project, so let's refer to it as the root folder, but call it something like Will's site. Inside your root folder, we're going to place in an images folder and a stuff folder. Now the images folder is where we'll keep any compressed images that will be exported from Photoshop or a similar application compressed for the web and the stuff folder will keep any other things like Photoshop documents, high res photography, things that don't actually get placed onto the website itself. That way when we upload stuff or rather when we upload the rest of our site we can simply upload the images folder and any HTML and CSS files we may have. So that's the kind of basic set up of your local folder that you need to do. Then once you've done that you can if you're using Dreamweaver set this up inside the application itself. Now I'm using Dreamweaver CS5 but you might be using uh, a different version or you might not be using Dreamweaver at all. So what I'm doing now is specific to Dreamweaver but um, it's not going to be specific to uh, any particular version so I think you can do pretty much the same thing uh, from CS3, CS4 and CS5. Um, if you're not using Dreamweaver, if you're just using a bit of FTP software, you don't need to do this next bit. You can skip ahead to the next video. So if you are, we can go to site and go to new site. And I'm going to, just going to call this the same thing. So will site. So the site name uh, in this particular part um, isn't going to appear anywhere on the website itself. It's a reference for the file browser on the right hand side of the interface. The crucial thing is that you tell it where the local site folder is. So uh, it may be referred to as local root folder um, in different versions. But basically that's referring to the main folder where you're keeping everything. So if you click on the folder to the right of it and then browse and select that folder and go to choose and then hit save, what you'll see is your file browser changes to show you the um, contents of that folder and that's going to allow you to work without having to go to file open uh, every time you want to access a particular element of your website. So that's the basic kind of setup of uh, the local part of your web project.